वनकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू जलप्रयाग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ न्यू टॉपिक ऑन चार्ट वर्क एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड अ सिंगल पीएल और सिंगल पोजीशन लाइन नाउ आई गॉट अ फीडबैक फ्रॉम अ फ्यू पीपल दैट द वीडियोस अ लिटिल बिट लॉन्ग ड्यूरेशन 30 मिनट्स इज समथिंग little bit too long for uh, majority of the people to sit down and uh, be attentive on that so uh, i am going to try to cut down the time little bit uh, with whatever possible so uh, this particular topic i am going to uh, do in a couple of series i'll make it a couple of parts so that i can cut down the time and uh, watching the video will be uh, more attentive and uh, more useful than uh, skipping and trying to miss some uh, part of the concepts also so let us start off with this uh, new concept called a single pl and as usual anyone uh, coming in for uh, first time uh, please go and search on the playlist you will see they are all uh, uh, categorized into different uh, subjects so you can go to chart work and you can still find these and when i make the series like part 1 part 2 part 3 i'll uh, surely put on the link uh, to the previous video so if you are coming and you don't know which is the first so you can always use the link to go back to the previous one so that you watch in sequence and that will help you to understand better so let's start off with the single pl uh, let us see what is a a uh, reason for you to have a question with single pl if you honestly ask me uh, this concept is a very very old concept of chart work uh, where uh, nav equipment uh, what we have on the bridge right now was uh, very limited but still this kind of questions are asked for you to know the concept of how things were working even now it will be a part of a question it comes for second mates and mates uh, syllabus also in your mmd exam if you look at the topic itself uh, you can see it is a kind of running fix question obviously running fix means you will be uh, trying to solve a few things at different times so it is a, comes under a, a broadly in the category of running fix and uh, this concept used to come handy when uh, position fixing tools like earlier before gps you had sat nav and then before that you had the earlier latest versions of uh, position fixing tools which were not continuous you could not get there could be errors so let us say uh, we have an issue with the position fixing tool that can happen even now also uh, radar can malfunction so that is also possible and uh, during this time the visibility can become poor which is also possible right now so then what is the issue or the constraint uh, you might have uh, found out one position fixing tool which is a pl but after that i was not able to get one more fixing tool so that i can complete the running fix as i would have done normal so we all know if we get uh, two fixing tools at two different times i can still finish my running fix and solve the problem but here i have a constraint i was unable to get one more fix or a fixing tool i'm sorry not fix fixing tool so uh, the whole uh, uh, the name comes from uh, this line that we have only one fixing tool with us and that is a pl okay so that is why it is called a single pl concept before we uh, start looking at a small example example will have partial values it is not a real question partial values to understand the concept let us quickly look at what are the clues and conditions involved in this type of questions these are broad conditions and clues you should use them to figure out whether this question is a single pl or not you will uh, be given or may not be given the cts you will be given the engine speed set and rate will get involved leeway possible in some questions and may not 
so we'll try to uh, put different conditions in our uh, uh, videos so that we can try to uh, get the concept of how to get started when different data is given for you in the question okay the moment i say running fix and if you have uh, environmental forces coming in picture you may be using your allowing and contracting methods usually this question will have two legs of sailing and only one initial bearing will be given to you that is why it is called single pl and what is the objective of this whole process you will come across three uh, important things in these questions number one is to find a safe course to reach a destination this is the first one the second condition will be he will give you a kind of a safe distance to pass from any danger or some unwanted uh, uh, spots on the sea so passing a safe distance this is the second important uh, part of the question then the third important part of the question is as i mentioned on point number 3 you will have two legs in this so they will ask you the time of alteration from first leg to the second leg so it will be a part of the question now positions no you will not be asked any position in this why because they have not given us any fix to start with so this question should not have positions so these are your clues and conditions please use them you may have all of them or you may have some of them but uh, this broadly gives you some way to find out how to start the question i'm going to give you uh, one sample example uh, with partial values let us see what is this i call this case 1 why because i'll be dealing with different cases with different data so uh, I, i'll make uh, uh, shorter videos with limited cases so let us start with this this is an island the question gave me an initial pl at 1800 let us say from a lighthouse x and that value is given as 070 so i am showing you what is lighthouse x then he said that uh, during this initial part i was sailing 200 with an engine speed of 12 knots i am not giving you any forces right now in case one so no current no wind i want minimum clearance from lighthouse y let us say 3 nautical miles so this is the yankee and i have some offline dangers here so i want 3 nautical miles now uh, the whole process of this question will be that uh, initial part i'll be sailing 200 then i'll have to alter a course in such a way that i can still pass safely 3 nautical miles away from those uh, dangers of basically the lighthouse yankee and then proceed to a destination or proceed on the passage so this is what is the whole uh, type of question you will get so let us see how to solve this problem uh, as and when i start drawing each and every part of uh, showing you each and every part of the question things will get clear as i said in my clues and conditions the two most important things are finding the time of alteration and finding the cts the next leg cts and here i am giving you a minimum clearance of yankee was 3 miles also so let us start off this question let us see one by one how you proceed with the steps since only one pl was given which was the initial pl 1800 i am going to draw that pl with that lighthouse yank uh, x ray so x ray okay this is your 1800 pl now he said that i want a minimum clearance of 3 nautical miles from yankee so i am going to draw a safety sector of an arc with 3 nautical miles from yankee which clearly means that when i pass south of the light yankee i should never be anywhere close to 3 nautical miles so this is my limit we have already seen in the previous questions uh, when we uh, dealt with the beam and cpa we saw that whenever somebody says pass some miles off we know that we are supposed to draw tangent i'm going to use the same principle here but there's a small catch i don't have any other position fixing tool the only tool i have is 1800 so i'm going to use that 1800 tool 
I'm going to take the parallel ruler like this, bring it down and make a tangent with this safety sector. So this is what is the uh, core principle of your uh, single PL question. The initial PL becomes the tangent, the same direction. Why? Because I don't have anything else. Okay, this is the first step what we have done. Let us go to the next step. Now, the next data what I have is, I was sailing 200 at 12 knots. Now, please remember it is a running fix, so I need to assume a point A anywhere on the first PL. Now, here also, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to assume a start point A anywhere on the first PL by giving a good safety margin, assuming that till 1800, I was not in a danger towards that island. So I'm going to take any position. The choice is yours. Answers will be exactly the same. I'll just prove it a little bit uh, later in a couple of slides. So I have alpha. And I know that I'm going to sail to 0, 0 because that was the initial course given to me. I'm going to draw this and intersect on the tangent line. And I call that Bravo. So I have uh, drawn a line which is starting from first PL to the transferred PL or the tangent PL. Now my job is on the chart to measure this distance because my next step is to give the time of alteration. So I'm going to measure this distance. Let us take a hypothetical, hypothetical distance. Let us say this was 36 nautical miles. So what I have in this on the chart is 200 degrees through into 36 nautical miles. Obviously with 12 knots, I'm going to take three hours for alteration. So it's very clear that when I start from alpha, I'm going to take three hours to reach Bravo, which will be 2100 hours. So 2100 hours, please remember during all these conditions, my visibility was bad. I could not get any uh, other uh, fixing tool. My radar was not uh, functioning properly. And my, uh, let us say, satellite uh, position uh, fixing uh, devices also were not functioning. So you are basically going on uh, blind. So that is what you are doing. So what I did was I started at 1800. I waited till 2100 on that course. At 2100, I altered my course so that I can pass three miles off with Yankee. Now, please notice the color of the line, which is at Bravo. Right now, I've shown a transferred line of 070 bearing. Now, the moment I alter, I'm going to change the color. Can you see the difference in color? I'm going to toggle between them. It was black. Now, when I alter, I've changed the color. This indicates that this is going to be my new course. So eventually, I found out what will be my safest course to sail on this next leg, at the same time, pass a safe distance of Yankee with three nautical miles. And this is possible. You can see I have two parallel lines. I was sailing in between. So my new course becomes my first PL bearing. If you realize, the first PL bearing was 070. So this is one of the simplest uh, case of uh, your uh, single PL. Now, I mentioned in the previous slide, you can choose alpha at any place, any place which you feel safe. So I could have taken the alpha here also. I would have achieved the same results. I could have used alpha from here also. I would have achieved the same results. Why? Because there are only two things we are bothered. What is the time of alteration? And then what is the new course? You will get exactly the same answer even if I had taken the blue color lines. So uh, this is your uh, first case of single PL concept. Uh, I'm sure I have kept it uh, short and sweet. So hope uh, you can sit and enjoy a short video rather than sitting for half an hour. I will keep coming on different cases of this single PL uh, uh, very soon, uh, within a couple of days. And uh, we'll try to keep the future videos also uh, small as per the feedback which I got from my viewers, my friends. 
and uh, i hope it was uh, useful and uh, you will be using this in uh, problems most probably in the mmd question papers uh, till then uh, please keep watching jalprayag and uh, vanakam namaste namaskar